Hi everyone, thanks for coming to Studio DR. I'm here with Bruce Shaw, Senior Director of Commercial Marketing for AMD. So Bruce, the biggest question I have for you is what it takes to be an innovator. You, in my mind, are one of the, the strongest and um, most insightful innovators I've seen in internet marketing. How do you know, how did you know to go to this kind of digital communications before anyone was talking about doing this? Well, I, you don't know. First of all, right? I think you, you know, you have a hunch, and certainly, I was lucky enough from a lot of circumstances from the environment we're in, lining up and wanting to take a risk. Mm -hmm. So you look back three years ago when you and I got started, and doing these type of things. You know, I was with a company that was, you know, AMD, brand new in the market. We knew we had lightning in a bottle with the product we had. And we're up against a competitor that, you know, we weren't even in the server market at that point. We were literally starting a 0% market share. Um, how are we going to get into the market? How are we going to make an impact? And certainly, we're going against a competitor that doesn't, not only owns the market, um, deep pockets, loyal installed base, right. makes a good product. How do you go against them in terms of, you know, you've got what on your hands is a world beater, but you're going to talk to a tech community audience. Um, certainly folks that are, are very um, cynical in terms of how yeah. they look at technology and what people bring out and risk yeah. and they're very risk averse and it was how do we conduct that message efficient, efficiently right. and it was all about really at the time what is going to be the most efficient path to carry the message and I was convinced from day one it, it was online. Uh, online by far trumps every other form of media that mm -hmm. we look at in terms of getting a branding message out there to our audience. So Bruce, let's transition to the virtual experience, right. AMD's virtual experience. So tell me, um, tell me your thoughts on why that hit the market well. It, it hit the market well for a couple of reasons. So first you have to look back, we were doing online events as we talked about, we had this cadence and we were bringing you know, partner messages out one of the things that was always an interesting challenge, and you know, I know you were you were right there with me on this, was the mating up of different partners in the ecosystem. And it's yeah. always a concern of, you know, they don't want to be right next to their their competitor, right? Yeah, but how do I show the the fact that I'm, you know, ubiquitous in the market? It's navigating through a political minefield. Absolutely. <laughs> and we'd done like seven of them at the time. Right. And everyone had gotten better, but it was at the point now where actually the partners were fighting over who was going to be next to go. I don't know if you're, you know, remember yeah, that. Which I always thought was brilliant. I don't know how you created that momentum, <laughs> yeah. but it's everyone's, it everyone was, wanted to be involved. It was. Everyone it was, wanted to be involved, and we were looking at it and going, you know, we were having literal conversations, and, and Paul Dodd and, yeah. you know, me and you and Kevin Carboni were sitting down and saying, boy, you know, what are the environments where these guys come together? And we were, we literally were talking about the trade show experience, right? right. The trade show is the one time where, you know, competitors are all in the same place. They've got a captured audience. It's the same place for the them message. all to be together, right? right. But uh, the notion of bringing them all together. And by now, they really had bought into the, the notion of, you know, the online experience with rich yeah. media. It's clearly the right way to go from a messaging standpoint. Now the next challenge was, okay, how do we bring together and show the whole ecosystem and build something that people will come back to repetitively? Yeah. I mean, that's what we've learned with AVE is it's not even the unique visitors and traffic that we get. It's the number of people that we tell us back. they come back. Right. And they come back and they go to a different area or a different part. You know, a lot of the investment that we've made <clears throat> has been on search. Yeah. Right? And it's just it's the nature of how do I search to find the content that I want how that's relevant to that's you. That's relevant to yeah. me at this point. Yeah. And oh, by the way, when I come back, there may be something else completely different right. that, I, that I want to take a look at. How am I going to get to that? And, and again, this was, uh, you know, it, it, was, it was challenging at first. It was challenging to, to convince the partners to come to one place. And it yeah. really took the notion of taking something that existed already, a physical trade show, and explaining that this was going to be the same as... Right just online yeah and instead of reaching an audience of five thousand or ten thousand we were going to reach hundreds of thousands right. of people right what i really love about the program is the fact that 
as a user, you can go into this, if I'm an IT manager, and I can actually compare product. Absolutely. And and the brilliance of it is it's all right. AMD product. <laughs> so you're actually comparing in the entire ecosystem here, you know, the, the Sun product to the HP product to the Dell product. It's amazing the fact that as a user, I have one place to go to and actually do that. Right. Well, it's, it's you know, it's very much, we equated uh, the, the server purchase for us is, you know, we looked at we looked at separate things. One, it, it's very much like buying a car. You know, mm -hmm. you go to a dealership. And you go when to you're in that dealership, around, you're, right? you're only yeah. looking at one brand of vehicles. Then you you know you get back in your car and you go to the next one. Right. And it, it's a it's a it's a cumbersome you compare, process. You compare, but right? you are comparing. Yeah. Right. And ultimately, in 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 the business to business world, what you really want is you want to get to, you want to get to the physical evaluation. You want to get beyond the tire kicking. You want to get beyond the, you know, I'm, I'm just really now in the info gathering stage and get to the point of, okay, this product meets my needs. You know what, I'm going to bring a, 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 a evaluation unit in. I'm going to try it. And, you know, I'm going to do a runoff yeah. versus the other product. Right. And in fostering those compares, that really was the way to get traction one partner to the other. It was also the way to get traction with the market. And we were welcoming. Yes the challenge of saying, put one of our systems up against one of our competitor systems. You know, we think, sure. you know, you try it, you'll like it. Yeah. And, and that was that was really what we were trying to get across and drive to. And this gave us a very unique platform. Well, and even the, the other programs we've done with other clients, I gotta tell you, the, the numbers that we've done with AVE is really knocking the numbers off the charts. I right. mean, the convergence, the ROI, the, the registrations, the unique visitors, the, the new social networking component right. in there where, where people can actually communicate and chat and set up meetings. Right. Um, it just, you know, it's mind boggling. It really is. And again, it's this notion of people want to be able to interact. They want to compare. You know, I, I, I buy a gadget. You know, you, right. how, how many times have you and I just socially talked and said, hey, what, you know, you right. tried this, do you like it? What do you like the about black it? Jack, what you, the black jack, the iPhone. What do you, what do you know, hate about it, yeah, right? What, yeah. do, what, do you, you know, what, what do you like about it? Right. And, and that leads to purchase. Yeah. So you know, I've always talked about. And people to, want to do that socially, right? right? Well, they, the, web is so, the web can be so isolating. Right. Yeah. I go online. It's very. 2D. But the more the more social tools and components you can put together, right. allow them to compare, allows them to do right. that with with people they've maybe right. have never met before. So, yeah. you know, the tools that Design Reactor has built for us into AVE let us in a, a way that we never have before tee up, and it, not just in the in the enterprise space, but you know, we look what you guys have done for us with with the gaming site, right? Mm -hmm. And you know the the amount of interaction that goes on there, and talking about that ecosystem, the work that you've done with that, the work that we've done with AVE, where you know again I can I want to go and I want to talk to somebody about virtualization, great. There, there's so many different sources, whether it's the manufacturer, the software, the hardware, right. Another person evaluating it that I want to talk to, uh, up here, I, I'm gathering knowledge that way. And if you look at again how the web's evolved, right. This is really what's happening. People want a voice. Well. I, for one, am uh, truly inspired by not only working with you, having the um, opportunity and ability to collaborate with you on projects, but also watching how you can lead a team internally at AMD, deal with the, the corporate politics, <laughs> and then also manage and maintain um, all the partners. I think it's incredibly difficult to do those things. And I look back over the last couple of years watching you do those things, and I'm inspired. Yeah. Thank you, Leon. Well, thank you very much for coming to the show today. We really appreciate your time. And again, it's been, it's been a real treat working with you. It's been a lot of fun. And I hope we can continue our relationship moving forward. Absolutely. Thanks again, everyone, for coming today. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.